Gambling is illegal in Brazil, but electronic bingo and slot machines are easy to combine big cities, as seen in this footage taken by police officers during a raid in Vitória, the capital of the Espírito Santo state. The police do weekly raids on gambling dens, and over time we seize these kinds of electronic machines. The seized machines end up here, in this police storage, and normally should be destroyed. But after a partnership with a local non-profit organization, they are now being refurbished by volunteers for low-income children and teenagers in Espírito Santo State. The machines come to us unassembled. We look into all parts and build new computers. Then we look for communities which do not have access to any technology and send the machines. It's really great to know that we can rework a machine that was being used for crime to serve education purposes for people who really need it. The kids are working with refurbished computers built with cannibalized parts from other desktops. Volunteers often have to use parts from two or even three different machines to assemble one usable computer. But it's already enough to make a big difference in the education of low-income students. This Catholic mission in the greater Vitoria area is among the organizations which received the computers. Children and teenagers from poor families can spend time here when they are not at school. These machines are great for them to have a first contact with computers. It's already been very helpful, and they're very interested in them. They want to get on social networks and do their research and do their homework on them. We didn't have any computers here. Now we can use them to do our research. It's much faster to do homework now. It's great. We can check things in Google, do research and finish our homework. In the past, these machines were used for crimes. Now they are helping these kids to create an honest future for themselves. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, Greater Vitória, Brazil.